Hey Crypto Bros, hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. You're enjoying the current state of the market. Today we're going to be talking about the short-term price analysis we we're looking for in regards to Bitcoin really getting above 29,300. So we're going to be covering that, whether our, our stop loss hit in terms of our trade for strategy 21. We're going to be talking about Zen, whether or not there's a bounce uh, to be expected, where that bounce can actually be. We're going to be talking about the Hex, uh, Pulse Chain, the uh, Richard Hart's ecosystem, whether or not this is presenting a good opportunity for you to dollar cost average into it. So let's go ahead and start this video, guys. If you enjoyed the content, just give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. It lets me know, you know, that you guys like these type of videos, these strategies I'm providing for you, and whether or not you're actually becoming more profitable in terms of your trading strategies. So let's go ahead and, and get into it, guys. So strategy 21, we've been talking about this. This is uh, direction neutral. So far, we've seen about 2.76% of the downside. Now, if I present you with the actual data set, we can see the average downside is about 2.55%. We saw just roughly a little bit more than that, bringing us, you know, 2.7% to the downside. Now, the um, the expected target was about 7.81%. We did not see that in particular this trade because this trade itself, the risk management that you would have to apply for uh, would be closing it above the range high if you're shorting. So meaning the range highs really come roughly around the 30000 to $30,100 area. So that's where your stop loss would be. So as you can see from this particular wick, this wick actually went above $30,000 key psychological level and then just completely started uh, you know, trading below it and the, the bears just started pulling price down a lot further from there. So with that being said, I am out of this particular trade and profit netted me about 2.3% because I did move my stop loss a lot lower. As you can see from my previous video, if you guys go um, you go back into it, you can you can see that. But with that being said, you know, this one was actually in profit. So this is good. This one is closed. I don't have an actual short side position uh, shorting Bitcoin at this moment. If conditions are presented for any of the strategies that I've shown you guys, then I will most likely take those ones. But for now, what I'm looking for in particular, we'll look at price action, just quickly talk about it. So we can see that again, price action went very close to $30,000 key psychological level, which was once support, guys, basically acting as support is now resistance. And now the bearish momentum is really coming into that because as we were saying, look, we wanted Bitcoin to really trade above 29300 If we can get a closure above that, then we'll most likely retesting $30,000 area. And then hopefully we can close above this key ranging area that we were in for quite some time. Now, because we got rejected here at $30,000 area, we can see if we go on the daily, we can see that the moving averages are playing a bit of a, or actually on, on the 12 hour, we can see that they're all playing a key pivotal role when it comes to resistance. So we can see here, we closed above the 55 day moving average, and then the bear just completely took control and then started trading below even the 21 EMA. Uh, in particular, uh, in the next, you know, this candle, this, you know, 12 hourly candle, which is going to be closing in about roughly less than four hours. So with that being said, this is what we're currently seeing. As long as, again, we're below 29,300, the bears do have full momentum. I would like to see us, again, trade above 29,300. Hopefully we can retest that 30,000 key psychological level again. So if we look again, the, um, you know, if we look on this particular chart, it's a lot cleaner. So again, getting back above this area, very important for the bulls to really continue and moving on upwards from here. For this to really act as a higher low on the higher time frames, as we can see here, came in, put in that, again, this area, bouncing off of the 55-day EMA, and then coming back, most likely trying to, you know, put this as a higher low for us to continue bouncing off but again if we're not able to close above thirty thousand dollar then this is most likely not going to be a, a higher low and then we're just going to most likely start trending downwards and you know coming back most likely testing the twenty five thousand dollar area from here uh so let's move on to zen real quick again we've been uh, kind of going over quite some time for this particular strategy again bringing you some nice uh you know shorting position for zen 
so far we've seen about again uh 17 percent to the downside so if you've already taken this trade with me you know you've you've made about 17 percent guys so congratulations in particular to that but um you know the the the, the average move would bring you about 28 percent to the downside which would see you get close to, really to uh, all-time lows for zen we've been discussing this you know for a very very long time so with that being said when can an actual uh, bounce be expected so if you look at the previous iterations guys so every time the the conditions are being met for this particular trade you're closing above this particular yellow line this indicates hey you're basically getting in overbought territory and uh then you start to have a big swing from swing low uh, swing um yeah so from swing high to swing low that's when you know you're, you're looking for uh balance for the price of zen so when can we expect that when price action really gets very close to this particular purple line as you can see here on the uh, 12 hourly once you're getting very close to the below midline or close to the purple line this uh, indicates that you're expecting a bounce to the 55 day moving average so we can saw we saw this in this particular iteration as you can see we close above the yellow range and then came very close to the purple line and then that's when we actually start to again see that bounce come in now again always apply risk management guys you know this is not 100 percent you can dca into it for that next bounce you know to the 55 day moving ema so with that being said if we look at this other iteration as well too closed above the yellow line and then started ranging mid to the lower side of close to that purple line and that's when you start to see that big run up in zen same situation here closed above the yellow line got very close again to the mid section to the lower side of the purple line and that's when we started to see that big bounce come into uh the 55 day moving average same thing with these previous iterations and to this particular one we did see a closure again below uh indicating we're oversold territory now just because something is oversold doesn't mean that it can go a lot lower but we got below the oversold purple territory and then that's when we start to see again you can see a bounce here same situation here as well too and that's when you start to see this bounce right here as well too uh, so we're getting again we got that closure below that yellow line what i'd like to see for zen really get close to the mid section of this or even closer to the purple line that's when it will give me the notion hey we're expecting a bounce in terms of zen to the 55 day moving average now what i'd like to see in terms of this is i would like to see again zen regain this 890 area the main target that i'm particularly watching is for us you know on the mid turn to get above is 1277 area if we can get above this then we can actually start to see on the daily an uptrend with higher highs and higher lows which indicates to me look this is a healthy pattern for uh for a lot of longs for a lot of traders to come in and start longings and in particular to price action so yeah so this is what i'm expecting where the bounce might be in terms of this i would like to see again the range delta hike and the chic really get below the uh, or close to the mid to the purple line then i'm expecting maybe a bounce to the 55 day moving average with that being said um again the mean of this is around 28 percent so we most likely haven't seen the full extent of this down draw before we actually see a bounce guys so just keep in keep this in mind that this drawdown uh usually sees us about 28 percent on average so we haven't seen that we have only seen about 17 percent for us to really say precisely okay we've seen the average we've seen the you know the high can streak really trade to mid to lower side of the purple line and then now we can you know most likely expect that target to the upside you know from swing low to swing high so i hope i explained that uh in essence uh in a good way of where the bounce can actually be uh let's go ahead and just quickly jump into the uh hex uh you know hex price chart we can see again what's been happening with the sec guys uh, in terms of this now uh the only comparison that i have i would say in terms of you know another crypto asset fighting off sec would be uh you know xrp now this was a long draw battle you know took about a year and a half two years for them to really uh fight off and and, and recuperate reconsolidate in terms of us uh, you know where price action where people agreed or traders agreed 
uh, you know, for us to consolidate in that area and then for us to actually start shooting up from there once the resolution came for that particular case. Now, what I'm going to most likely say is that we haven't seen the full extent uh, in terms of the drawdown for Hex, Pulse Chain and all that. Now, yes, you could say we've already, you know, dropped substantially, roughly, you know, 99.25%. Now, that doesn't mean we can't go a lot lower, guys. We can always, you know, go a lot lower. We can come back, retest. Again, the real lows of, of HEX. Can it really get to those points? You know, I'm not certain 100%. But what I can uh, tell you is that, you know, the, the battle with the SEC is going to take a long time. Now, they can come out and they can, you know, find something in regards to Pulse Chain or they can find something in regards to Richard Hart. And some basic bad news can come out, and then you're gonna start to see real sell off come into Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X. Now, I know that again with Hex, I don't know how much groundwork they have in terms of them going after you know Richard in regards to Hex, but I know they do have some ground in regards to Pulse Chain and how it was you know distributed in terms of the sacrifice phase so they do have some groundworks in terms of going after him in terms of pulse x so meaning maybe pulse x might have more negative impact in terms of price action now i'm not invested in hex i'm not invested in pulse chain i did take my profits on 2x in terms of pulse chain and when the sacrifice you know phase ended all the way to the release so that gave me about a 2x i basically sold that now, whether or not this is actually a good position for the long term, sure, you're down 99%. Um, how much further can it go? Just remember, you can you can go further down, guys. You can always go down further. Uh, just just remember that you could you all, you want to always dollar cost average. You know, don't risk more than you can afford to lose. You know, we've seen you know you survived the bear market, guys. But you know, when the SEC is going after you you know that you have to be extra cautious you always have to apply risk management even if you believe into the project guys for the long term now what i'm looking for uh you know an uptrend in terms of the macro outlooks of things i would like to see again hex really get above you know the uh two to three cent area that will basically start an uptrend uh, you know higher highs and higher lows from there but anything you know below that then most likely you're you know retesting to the one cent yes it is an easy 3x from here if you're to buy at these levels but there's no contradiction to tell me hey this is a good buying opportunity yes the the indicators are going to show you know oversold on the stochastic oversold on the macd on a lot of things even here on the macd you can see you know you're putting in a higher low in terms of the macd while you know on price action you are putting lower low that does mean you're you're seeing regular uh, bullish diversions, meaning a trend change in price. So it might be a good opportunity based off of this. But again, I don't I don't want to invest myself, my capital, risk my capital, knowing that you know there is not enough clarity when it comes to something just specifically like hex and even pulse chain, guys. You know, I was more confident in terms of XRP maybe winning their case, but you know, I'm not trying to you know speak bad in terms of richard or hex or paul Shane or whatever it may be i'm just saying that you know i don't know how much capital he's going to throw at it to basically fight off the sec in terms of this or whether he's just going to pay the fine overall but what i see is that it has some hurdles to really get over and uh, those hurdles really start to come in around two to three cent area but i still see more downside pressure in regards to hex paul Shane. In terms of that guys so i'll leave you off with this i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up until next time bros as always stay profitable